They had offered it to Harper, and she didn't want to do it. So uh, I had worked with Bob Mulligan and Alan Pakula before. Uh, not really with Alan, but we were friends, and he'd, he'd wanted to do the chase, but Spiegel had gotten in ahead of him, and I knew him. And uh, so they said, well, I think it's best if you and Harper meet, and if you feel compatible with each other, then we, you're, you're the one we want, and she wants you. So Alan brought her out to the house. I was living in Nyack, New York at the time. We had a marvelous evening. I mean, she's a wonderful woman. I still am very close to her. And she's warm and witty and funny. And, you know, we came from the same background. She was born in a house like this and with the porch like that, and, you know. And um, so, you know, it was just, a, in that sense, a real marriage. And she said, I don't want to see you again or fool with you again until it's all done. So there was no looking over your shoulder, you know. And Alan was living in New York, and I wrote it, and I had a study up in the third floor of my Nyack house. And I would work, and he'd come over every two days, and we'd talk about what I'd done. And it was great help. And there were two things that helped me, at least, because what you have to do with an adaptation, at least I do, is to try to get into the, what I think of the psyche or the skin of somebody else, which is very painful. And then, then there's a point where you have to say, well, now this is mine, I've got to, for good or bad, I've got to go with this. And there was a, a review by R.P. Blackmuir, I forget where, called Scout in the Wilderness, which compared the themes and the characters of Mockingbird, not necessarily exactly, but in terms of, with uh, um, Huck Finn. And uh, it was the book that I was raised on and adored, and so it gave me a certain kind of way into the, into the material, a way of thinking about it. And then Alan made the suggestion, which was very helpful, that not to follow the time scheme of the novel, but to compress the whole thing into terms of a period of time. Um, and um, make it one season I mean, like spring, fall, winter, I think Harper's, it goes two or three years. And that really made me then structurally begin to rethink it and gave me the, maybe I might have not have dared do that if Alan hadn't said do it. So in that sense, and then, then that's that point where you begin to invent certain things. And then I knew that the character of Dill was based on Truman Capote and that Harper told me that, and he'd live next door to her. And so the, I wrote a lot of scenes for him that weren't in the novel, which gave me kind of a sense of style for that character, and what I would imagine he might be like a little boy. And um, so it was a very happy time, you know. I mean, it was very pleasant, and uh, then she read it and was pleased with it. And, 